Hey, Ed Bossy, how's it here today? It is the, uh, it's just January 2012. 2012, yes. A lot has happened. Oh, I, 2012. I guess 2012. You know, a lot has happened since our last broadcast. I know. Well, we had Jim Filek in here. Yeah, we while. did. Uh, the, the truncated basketball season finally got underway. That you was, predicted the World Series. I predicted the World Series. That was two months ago, for those of you that are paying attention. And I don't know why you would, but I don't pay attention when should you. And we had a very uh, solid Christmas. Solid. The um, recession, as, they, as it were. But uh, now, 2012, wines are starting to come in again, and I'm starting to go away. What am I going to choose because there's so much to choose from? And I, They're talking about, wasn't there a shortage... Or isn't, isn't the 2011 vintage in Napa just kind of short the cabinet? Well, the vintage is short all over the state, not just in Napa and Sonoma. Is I mean, there's, there's the, it, but it's the, it's the, it's a, the triumphant of three vintages in a row that were short, which was unheard of before. You don't ever see that. That's really odd. When they say short, you're talking about a 10 percent reduction. Uh, no, no, about six or seven percent. But that's a lot that's because a lot. you had three percent last year and five percent the year before. And for people that exist on the bulk market, on the overage, all that comes right off the top. So there is no bulk market. That's mm -hmm. so. There's, and that means there's no great values. So except for this. Here we are in Argentina. <laughs> here we are in Argentina. That's right. And we will stay here. This is uh, this. This came to us a few months ago, and I, I just hang on to. It. I mean, sometimes we we get these wines, these opportunities, and we don't want to. I can't buy them right away. I want them to hang on. But the guy says, no, I need to sell them. And, and fortunately for, for us, these guys said, yeah, we'll, we'll sit on the wine for a few months because we want you to feature at the club. And this is, this is a Malbec from Argentina. We love Malbec Oof. anyway. But man, it is. You know, when you, when you look at a, at, a, at a $19 Malbec from Argentina, you, you know why they haven't sold it. I mean, and yet it's phenomenal wine. I mean, it really is. You know, we're going to, this is, by the way, this holiday season, my wife decided Thursday we're having an event. Friday we had an event. My brother came in for Saturday for Christmas Eve from Lincoln, Nebraska. Then Sunday we had 100 people at Christmas at our house. And then we had, uh, then tonight we're, tomorrow night we're doing a, um, a, a wedding reception, you know, West Coast wedding reception. But can I tell you what I opened on Christmas Eve? With my mom, tell them. Mom, mom and dad. <laughs> Christmas Eve with mom and dad. Mom and dad, my sister, everybody. I opened two 88 First growths, okay. Margot and Latour. Mm -hmm. Latour is excellent. Margot had started to turn, and then I opened a 1940 Kopke port. Oh wow! I bet that was killer. Oh, and I had banana cream pie with it. Who cares? I mean, a port was the dessert, you know. Yeah. Well, um, just before then, I had a 1972 Ridge Montebello Cabernet. That was oh, spectacular. Okay. Absolutely out of this world. Now this. I remember the wine now. Soft, great balance, lots of berries, lots of dark cherry in there, uh, but you don't get all that acid sometimes you get from Malbec. You know, the acid's it's, there, but it's... Beautifully structured. I mean, it doesn't have that, that kind of cranberry eff effusiveness that some Malbecs can get from Argentina. It, it tastes almost like Bordeaux. Wow. You know, and it's, it's, so a, and it's a 2009... I forgot. At $19 on the shelf and seven ninety nine reorder. Wow. I'm giving this a 94. I'll give it 94. I'm going to pour it in my left hand. How about that? <laughs> He's a regular Kobe Bryant. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Well, really good. and take some of that home. Next. How long have you been waiting to do that? <laughs> about 10 years. <laughs> This is Washington State Riesling in a Bordeaux bottle. That is made by an Oregon winery. How about that? Because huh? yeah. this is made by King Estate in, in Oregon, and, and they obviously bought the grapes, and they I believe they, they crushed them um, in, um, in, in Oregon. No, it's, it's, you know, it's, 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 I love remembering these wines. Mm -hmm. Like coming back to them a couple months later and go, oh, that's what I like about this. And you know what the, I like? It's very subtle. It's got wonderful, uh, doesn't have that kerosene nose, which you always think is you know, a bad term to use, but it's got wonderful citrus. And Ooh, it's got a wonderful, notes incredible things. citrus. It's like a little grapefruit, a little, a little uh, tangerine. It's really got some nice tangerine notes, and it's bone dry. It's not, it's not sweet at all, which is not a bad thing for Riesling, by the way, because it has such good high natural acidity that it can handle some, a little residual sugar and not taste sweet. This is spectacular. Turkey and the stuffing. It wasn't my wife's stuffing. It was incredible. Well, did it have like cranberries in no it or jokes. something? 
You had cranberries and, and raisins and prunes. And yeah, that would that would go great with this. Mm. This is, you know, this is this is fifteen dollars on a shelf. The reorder price is six ninety nine, and I'm doing a ninety five on this. Yes. I love this wine, because I love Riesling. I really do. I think Riesling is just That's an amazing grape. grape. Well, Absolutely. But I'm sorry, I bought almost everything there is. So if you want some, you have to get it from me. Okay. So revisiting uh, the guys at. Um, Jan Chris, now they've sent me a ton of wine to taste, including the Ben Hogan series, and I didn't really care for almost all of it, except for these two, the Crossfire we featured. I don't like I these did. guys for one simple reason: their 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 website is .net, yeah, and, well, and and there's and I and I'm looking for them under .com, and they've got something under .com, but but not what I'm looking for. So I don't, you know, from from that. So, but the funny thing is. All his regular varietals, the Zin, the this, that, just were okay. I mean, some of them not, weren't that good, but then his two blends, which I'm assuming came from the same place, Ooh, wow. were really nice wine. Yeah. This is an 05 Paso Robles Zinfandel, basically. I forgot about that. That's really nice. You know, look at the color for an 05. Yeah. We did that Crossfire, which was the Bordeaux. The Crossfire was really good. That was excellent, as a matter of fact. I remember that. But this is super. And this isn't, you know, you, there, there's a couple of styles of Paso Robles Zin. There's the ones that come from Paso proper, and then there's the ones that come from Templeton. The ones from Templeton, it's a much hotter climate, and those things are just big, massive wines. Right. You know, I mean, they're like ink. And uh, this is not like that. No, this is this is a little more elegant. This, this isn't all Zin, though. I think is it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, okay. Because it tastes oh, like there's other stuff in there. There's a little more low in there. Yeah, okay. Because it's 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 elegant. It's refreshing. Colors right. Colors beautiful. Yeah, it's a nice wine. For an 05, I mean, hell, it's already, what, six years old? Yeah, I know, that's unbelievable. Well, it's 19 on the shelf at the winery, it's 7 dollars reorder here, and that's just, you just don't get wines like that for $7.99. Mm. Well, I'm doing a 93 on this one, I think. I'm doing a 94 because I like the elegance. It is, it is an elegant wine. It almost comes off like Bordeaux, you know. They call it Picaro or whatever. That's another thing. You know, these, they, they, do, they give these things these silly names. Bizarro. Bizarro. Well, that's a real place in Spain, Bizarro, actually, but you know, I call it Bizarro, you know. This is a wonderful uh, California. It is from car. Good Karma. Yes, we have, must have Good Karma. But here. I love how they say it. Oh, it's California Karma. California Karma. It's from Monterey. It's from Monterey. This uh, was a. Oh, right. This is really a nice bottle of wine. I just, you know, the guy, he sent me this red, too, which was very good. And he goes, oh, I just can't sell you the red to get into the classic series. But I, this, I have this shard. He sent it down. I said, yeah, I'll thank him. Are you kidding? This is, you know, the $15 wine at $6.99 every order. order. Mm. And the Monterey Chardonnay, which is a great place for Chardonnay because you don't Fabulous. get all this oaky stuff. Out there. Well, you can. I mean, the, 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 you can get real oaky uh, Chardonnays out of Monterey. But this, fortunately, just doesn't happen to be one of them. Matter of fact, I would doubt there's any oak in this at all. Actually, there is. I know there is because still I remember youthful. the tasting notes. It's 09, but still youthful, and that's why I bought it because the color's great. It really, ha it really has those nice citrus notes, you know, that, uh, that we, were, we were picking up on the Riesling, but different, different than the Riesling. Yeah, I mean, $6.99. Wow, that's amazing. When you buy for $6.99, I was at the market today looking around going, in fact, okay, I forgot the wine for Christmas Eve. You forgot? Well, the, the I mean, Christmas Day, the regular wine. So... What was it? I needed two. Oh, I didn't have any white wine. So I at the market buy an ice, and I go, okay, I'll look at the wine section. I'll actually buy some wine from the market. Oh, really? I went up and down the aisles. Went, and I looked at it all. I said, nothing here excites me. The prices are overdone, even at the sale price. Mm -hmm. So I went back to the house, got the key to the office, and drove back to the office and, and got the wines I wanted. I just couldn't find anything in the standard market shelf stuff that I thought would be interesting. He's a tad spoiled, though, boys and girls. you got to understand that. Well, but still, I was wanting to pay retail, even. But... No, you weren't. <laughs> you never have, and you never time. will. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm doing a 94 on this. I think it's a delicious bottle of wine. And that's from somebody who, who avowedly does not like Chardonnay. Chardonnay. 93 for me, that is classic series, January 2012. 2012. We only got four more months before the world ends, you know. I thought that was the year 2000. That's 2012. Well, it happens every 12 years. Uh, All right. See you. See you.